Every artist of every kind wants to make something that is unique, and cooks are no different. I'm Hank Shaw. I am a uh, wild game and wild foods uh, cookbook author. I run the website Hunter Angler Gardener Cook. Cooking is way more jazz. A, I'm gonna take you out of your comfort zone, and B, I'm gonna give you a recipe to do that that won't fail. That website became a place to keep me sane. Because I'd been hunting, and because I'd, been, I'd always been foraging, and I'd always been fishing, I, I was developing a, a lot of really, I think, interesting recipes for game that I hadn't seen anywhere else. After I got nominated for James Beard Award in 2009, and then I got nominated again in 2010, and at that point, things had blown up, I got a book deal, and it's become, that became my day job in 2010, and it has been ever since. You should never take yourself too seriously because then, you know, that's just crazy. You know, it, life is too short to not have fun. By the way, this is wild duck fat. This whole stuff right here is all kind of how I make the magic happen. And it's, you know, it comes from gathering and, and storing and knowing how to preserve everything and putting it together. And what that ends up doing is that allows me to be able to create a dish that is a memory. Pickled prickly pears, there's choya buds, there's tepary beans, there's wild, there's gonna be wild sage in it, there's native chilies in it. Um, so there's a, a number of elements from the environment in which I shot that coos deer. Really brings everything together in way, way, way better focus for me than if I'd just done like salt and pepper. You have to tinker. I mean, this is the essence of good cooking, is that everybody I know who is new to cooking game, they have a problem with embracing the chaos. And cooking wild game is all about embracing chaos. If you had asked me in 2000 whether this was going to be my life, I would have laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. And laughed.